What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, VB87. My name is Ren Nixiel. And we're here to review War for the Planet of the Apes. I did not start this war. But I will finish it. This movie follows Caesar and his little clan of uh, super intelligent apes. I don't say super intelligent. They're about human intelligence. They have society and all that stuff. Anyway, they're trying to live freely in the middle of the jungle. And uh, humanity's being wiped out by a virus, of course, as we've seen from the previous movies, Rise of the Planet of the Apes mm -hmm. and... Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Thank you. Yeah. And so it is coming down to they are being attacked. They are trying to struggle to survive. They just want to be left alone to live their own life. Right. And the, their enemy, called the Colonel, they, he's not actually given a name, he's just the Colonel. He is the uh, rogue military agent who's trying to assassinate and finish them off completely. Very crazy. And so he's like uh, doing assassin runs, sending guys after them and whatnot, trying to just get rid of them. I mean, anyway, so the whole story follows them and... Caesar and his little group, the, or the original apes who he um, rose to the intelligence with, uh, the orangutan guy the, with the big face, the yeah. main gorilla, I can't remember his name. I can't remember any of their names, really, but... And uh, his second chimpanzee friend. Uh, yeah, friend. <laughs> it was Koba, but yeah, then Koda, then he went evil yeah. in the last movie. Right. They follow, and they get to the uh, colonel's uh, military base, and yeah. so a lot of stuff happens. He finds his clansmen enslaved. They were captured while he was off doing his own thing. Right. He gets captured to try to rescue them, and it's the whole movie struggle is trying to find a way to break out and just get out and survive, because yeah. they don't want to be caught up in the war yeah, that's right. going on. They just want to live in peace. Yeah. And they offer them peace several times, but the humans just want to wipe them out completely. Which is any animal. I mean, any animal. Just, they don't really want drama. They just want peace. They just want to eat and do that stuff. So. All right. So there are some other elements we're going to talk about. Right now, we're going to give our ratings real fast to see okay. how much we rate this movie. All right, Robbie, Robbie, no. What did you rate this movie? Okay. So, I know you were going in hating this movie. You did not I, want to see this movie. I'm not at all. going to lie. I did not care for the Planet of the Apes. I don't like the franchise as much. I mean, it just wasn't for me. I just was like, you know, only reason why I went because I wanted to review it and see if it, this can change my mind. But, surprisingly, I am about to give a rating first ever on this channel. I, You guys are going to be in shock. Five. But I am going to give it. A 10. A 10. I'm giving it a 10. And I I was a shock myself, okay? Damn. I wanted, I did not want to give this movie a 10, but I had to. It was phenomenal. It kept me, it kept me up. I was excited. I was sad. I was mad. Emotional uh, driven. Emotional, you know, I was just, it was just so much was going on. And there were times where I felt like, oh, they could have did that better. But then it's like, oh, that's why they did that. I'm like, Wow. I actually like this movie, and it makes wow. me want to watch the rest of the franchise. What you I am doing? In, yes, what y'all gonna be doing? I'm I'm in shock. I'm in shock that I like this movie. I did not think I was I was really I'm not gonna lie. I was going into it wanting to hate it. You weren't the only one. We were in the theater at the, when the credits started rolling. People started applauding Clapping. in the theater. Like, it was that good. It's that per there was no flaws. The, I could really? uh, yeah. I mean, in my I opinion, I can think of a few. Per personally, my yeah, opinion, yeah, the yeah. flaws. But which... but personally to me, there was no flaws. There was nothing. Like, I couldn't... I, I really like this movie. Really did. I am shot. I'm glad that he put it on his, his most anticipated movie because I would have never, in a million years, if we weren't doing something like this, I would have never watched that movie. Ever. Yeah. Did not like it. Would never like it. Wouldn't even put it on DVD. But this was phenomenal. I'm not going to lie. Matt Reeves, you outdid yourself. I can't wait to watch the other stuff that you did. I am excited. I am happy. And, uh, yeah, man, I am, oh, man, that movie was awesome. It was an awesome, oh, that was an awesome movie. No. I'm not going to lie. This movie was on my most anticip one of my most anticipated movies of the year, and I was happy to watch it. I enjoyed yeah. it. I watched the previous movies, the uh, Rise and the Dawn and all that stuff. Which I have not watched yet. And I love the franchise, and I love this movie. I give right. this one a 9 out of 10. I found it for a 10. There were some flaws I have issues with. Okay, I want to hear this. But it was a great movie. I, okay. I, not even cry, but I felt the emotion. I felt torn between the sides. I felt tugged both ways. Yeah. and It's just, it was a good movie. The music was right. intense going on throughout the movie. Right. It went well for the comical parts that was comical and stuff. It was yeah. sad during the sad parts. Yeah. The uh, graphics were amazing. They had explosions everywhere. The right. monkeys looked mostly real. There were some issues I had right. with that. 
but it was overall a really good movie. Yes. And one of the issues I have with the graphics was the, and this is where the spoilers are going to begin. We're going to start talking about what we didn't like and didn't yeah. like for just a few minutes. So Yeah, so if you do not want to know, yeah. go ahead and leave and then come back. Come back after you see the movie and watch the rest of it. Yeah. Anyway. Yes, which I cannot wait to tell you my favorite parts, but go ahead. One of the parts I did not like was that ape who had the uh, fur burned off him or something. Oh, I know who you... Oh, you talk about the guy... I can't guy. remember his name. Uh, I don't remember his name. But he wore the... the bad, actual, bad ape? Yeah, yeah he was like... Call himself Bad Ape or Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, Bad Ape, Bad Ape. But he can talk, but he, did, he can't... He's probably... I think he's the second monkey who can talk. Who can Mo, all the monkeys could eventually learn to talk if they right. wanted to. Oh, they They're do, really? they too. Yeah, they can't. Okay. Like that orangutan or that other one with the big puffy face? Yeah. He's able to talk space, speak a few words. Right. He has to sit down and study. Right. They have the ability to do that now, but okay. they just don't care. They know sign language. They know grunting. They know that. Right. So okay. what's the point of learning the human language if you don't no need to use it? All humans are going true. extinct at this rate. That's true. Oh, yeah, you're right. So they have their grunts. They can communicate perfectly fine grunts in sign language, so they, most of them do that. All right. Dang, that was... Wow. But the way he talked and acted, he was the comic relief of the entire movie. Okay, yes. I'm not going to lie. He, he was, because it was getting there. We needed some comic relief after all that drama. There was a lot of other things, and the comic relief was welcome at some points. Like, there was a part where he held up the binoculars. He was looking through binoculars oh, at yeah. the camp. He held them up backwards, and he goes, oh, they're, so they're so small. <laughs> then the orangutan reached up, turn it over. And everyone started laughing at the theater, <laughs> and it was welcome relief. But the way he just acted and it was, and I don't know, I just didn't like him. Really? Yeah. I felt like I felt like he was needed. I felt like he was needed, because was, I was going through a lot through that movie for me but I think he was neat I think he, he was there when he needed to be he was helpful when he was helpful. there and he was good comedy relief but he wasn't necessary to the entire story if they right. never met him I don't think the story would have been fine without him really I think you know they unless think. he has some background purpose to the future not my thing because there are some ones in the future like the original Planet of the Apes 2001 version yeah. that are reminiscent of him they have like the weird fur splotchiness yeah. and all that stuff so maybe he has descendants to help out in the original story right I don't know and the other issue I had was well other than the graphics weren't as good as they were in the previous movies from the monkey standpoint. Okay, maybe I They looked like monkeys. Good. They were good and all that stuff, and they looked great, but sometimes the fur wasn't great. So you think the 2001 version was better? No, I'm talking about the Rise and Dawn. Oh, right. They actually oh, okay. worked a little harder, it seems, like for the animation of the fur right. and the monkey effects and all right. that stuff. So you feel like this one wasn't... They didn't like they, it, was, it seems like they copied and pasted a lot of the monkeys. They all looked roughly the same, except for the main character monkeys. They right. were all had different shapes and forms. And the rest of them were all just chimpanzees, all copying and pasted the long age snout, snouts and all that stuff. Okay. So it's understandable. They had some sort of budget to work with, but that was a not selling point. Why were those, those the only primary apes going on? Right. Okay. But uh, overall, it was good. The music was intense and amazing. I loved it. What do you feel about Man, you're for ten. You have nothing to say. I mean, okay, look, I'm gonna tell you. I'm tell you a couple of my favorite parts. I think for me, what really. Um, maybe kind of really sad and really was like, man, was when they were treating them as slaves, man. It like, and it's, it, it was like, man, like it made me think, like, like, right. like, like. This do is where we the spoilers really... are gonna come in yeah. because we're gonna give you some context. Yeah, here. yeah, we're gonna give you a little the bit. The colonel was... and his military men, they captured the uh, Caesar's uh, whole village yeah. group, whatever, and were putting them to work building a wall around this military installation they had already had. It was primarily because. They wanted to, like, protect from the other virus. Because I, I guess there were some people who had the virus, maybe, no. I think. That's what it was, right? He had gone rogue, the, the colonel. Wait, wait, okay. Because he was so badass. The, the virus that was killing off the humans evolved. Right. Instead of killing off the humans now, yeah. those who already had it and whatnot, who were immune to it, it began dumbing them down. They lost their ability to speak. Right. They lost their ability to think the process properly. They could no longer running, yeah. operate properly. They were, like, turning like cattle or yeah. more monkey-like. And as yeah. the, the apes were turning more human-like, be able to talk yeah. and process. The humans are turning back, or degrading back down to uh, yeah. apes. They can't talk anymore, really. Right. They could communicate like sign language still a little bit. Like, yeah. Uh, she said thirsty a couple times and all that yeah. stuff, the girl. But because of that, he went rogue and started killing everyone who had the virus to prevent it from wiping out the human race. Because he right. knew what was coming. Right. He predicted the Planet of the Apes 2001, or even the original, that the Mankins would take over and use the humans as slaves if it continued. So he tried to stop it. The, his uh, commanders and the rest of the military didn't like that, what he was doing. Yeah. He was going too hardcore. So he ran away, and they were coming after him. Right. Which is why he's using them slave labor monk, apes to build a wall to which help was, better defend. Which was kind of messed up. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it was messed up for me. I was kind of like, man, that's, that's you know. But, but on the other hand, I can understand. I may have hated the colonel through a little bit of the movie, but... Then I kind of had a little small sympathy for him because once you learn his story, yes. I mean, if, if, because it's like, man, like if you was in his position, what would you do? Especially if the virus was made by humans, you know, and all this was happening, mm -hmm. and you had to like, you know, kill off some of your people, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
what would you do? You know, it made you think, like, man, like, uh, I mean, I mean, even though I feel like animals are are the the better species, in my opinion, animals are because they're not as self. Well, no, just well, just any animal. I'm, 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 well, I mean, the ability to think and process like that creates those things, like greed and emotion, yeah, exactly. So because animals don't think like we do, we just can't process as well as we can. I'm gonna probably be hated for this by Pete and other people, but anyway, they can't. Free think like we can. Yeah, which is I think is a good thing because then get the words out without offending. Yeah, but but that's I think that's a good thing though because then you know sure. because we always want to test things. Was this okay sometimes? You, you look but, at the apes. They started having th- free will and thought yeah, process like exactly. we do, and then they're out killing their own people. They're out doing things yeah. that they don't need to do. Some turn bad. Some are uh, good. There are some are greedy and stealing. Other things. Yeah. Like they're just becoming human like. Which which this is which is what reason why I want to watch the rest of the movies. I'm still kind of. Learning about it, so I mean, I'm just, I'm personally, I can't wait to watch the movies. So I can really get a better information. I, I looked a little bit up about Caesar and, and uh, you know, of course, you know Matt Reeves. I didn't know he, he uh, directed most of those movies, right? That, that was, was a great story. Wow, that I mean, he did a real good job. So I can't wait to watch the the other movies. I mean, the overall, the movie was phenomenal. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm overthinking it, but for me, I loved it. I'm now, would I get this on DVD and collect it? Not right now, but maybe in the future. You know what I'm saying? Because you I know, I, well, I know you. When are. now that's really, I'm gonna buy the whole box set. I'm gonna show them how other one, all the th- 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 prequel trilogy. Yeah. I don't know if they're gonna continue to make more uh, well, actual that's, well, that's movies what, now. Well, actually, that's what I heard on on, on Collider, which you need to go on Collider. Uh, uh, yeah, it's like a it's a movie thing. They did say that Matt Reeves was thinking about. Now. Yeah, was is working on a sequel after uh, Planet the, of the Apes. The, yeah, the 2001, the, the 2001 version. Okay. There was actually a continuation that he wanted to do. No, based on the 1960s, they made a bunch like Beneath the Planet of the Apes, yeah. uh, Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, and there's yeah. like two others. I think there's a total of five of the 1960-1970 really? movies. Yeah, well, I don't know including the Planet of the Apes. There's like I'm, Conquest, Rise, and it's not Rise, but anyway. I'm cool with the 1960s. <laughs> I'm, cool with the, I'm cool with the 1960s. So they I don't do know. have sequels they can go based off of if they want to do yeah. go that far. Which that'd so. be interesting because you know in the movie I know I have I do have a little bit of history of man. Uh, what, what's his name? The guy who. Uh, the, the, the 2001 version? What's his name? I do remember at the end of the movie, he goes even further into the future and they see all the apes and now they're like just as police. It's like modern day humans. Like they have the Statue so, of Liberty. They're dressed in full police. The girls are dressed in full police suits. Yeah. With, exactly. And that's, why and, I, everything. and that's why I want to see like They're driving man. cars and it's, it's just really cool. But they're all monkeys and apes. It's, they took and, over the world and became like us. And that's why I, I want to see what really happens. So I cannot wait. If Matt Reeves does another one, I will want to see it. I want to see it. I want to go, so. go to that one. Uh-huh. I think that was just like a uh, end to it that maybe they were going negate that and just continue on, on the Planet of the Apes or something. I don't know what they're going to do. Okay, I like to see if they're going to get in like you said they were. So yeah. I think that's about all we have to say. Yeah, Go see man. the movie. Go see it, man. Let me know in the comment section below if you love this movie after you watch it because it was I know I did. good. It was, was awesome. It was awesome. Man. It, I mean, okay. literally. So, I, oh, God. That movie's so good. It was good. I he, goes, I he was sighing and mumbling to himself doing the hard movie. I was like, oh, he, hates <laughs> I it. he hates it's, it. He hates it's it. Exactly. It was, it was so funny. But the only reason I was doing that because I was full popcorn. <laughs> I was just kind of like, oh man, I'm good. Uh, and I had a bunch uh-huh. of popcorn. I'm not gonna lie, I had a bunch of popcorn, and I was like, whew, I'm good now. <laughs> so anyway, man, um, thank you for watching. Hit uh, just like you said, hit that like, subscribe, and comment, and let us know how you feel about this movie, and see if you think they should continue it yes. after you watch it. Yeah, and also make sure you ring that bell so you get notifications when we produce yes. more movies, tr- movie reviews, trailer reactions, gameplays. So uh, yeah, yeah, man. So uh, it's your boy with B87. I'm Rio Nixiel, and I'll catch y'all later. Bye. smart as hell you're stronger than we are but you're taking this all much too personally so emotional